takes a handoff. Gains his way to the 40-yard line. And he's tackled right around the 14-yard line. That's the kind of play calling and execution I like. Fires up to his receiver. And he's taken down at the three. He is... As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick. They're at the three. Second down. The Hawkeyes taking their first time out of the half. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. When you're that close to the end zone, it's always a smart play to find your blockers and follow them into the end zone. The Wildcats, why not, had to leave the field with that injury earlier. Key ingredient in their passing attack, and they're really going to have to try to find a way to fill that hole. Brown fields it at the 7. They'll bring him down at the 35-yard line. Lloyd's mental toughness makes him difficult to rattle when he's on the road. And here he is now, Kirk, taking the field for the first time today. Let's see how he does. made around the 47 yard line and they get nice yardage on that run so we got a few yards on that carry here's an opening brought down at the 29 that's a game of 10 on the play that'll make it second and inches right running backs got it and they make the stop at the 22 yard line makes it to the 14 he's tackled at the three yard line that's good for a gain of 11 yards. Goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. And down he goes around the two-yard line. The short yardage packing. Touchdown, Hawkeyes! And a halfback took it in for the score. Yep, he punched that in from a short distance. He had great blocking up front on that play. Tough one. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. That's a great tackle at the 30. That was a loss of seven on the play. That makes it fourth and long. Throws to the fullback. They can't hook up. Incomplete. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver. Maybe. D'Angelo awaits the snap. Very high punt. The birds better watch out. Reed takes it at the 16. A little separation. to thread the needle it's picked off to the 20 to the 10 touchdown Iowa like offense you had to have loved that first quarter of play the Hawkeyes with a touchdown lead and we're back for more action here in quarter number two Chucks it downfield. Has it to the senior. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown, Northwestern. After the cloud, he's got 100 yards now. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy? I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. He 
he throws it. And that one's incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. Third and 11 here. Ball on the 26-yard line. And he is drilled at the 18. Oh, that is a big hit on the quarterback. That's... They make the stop at the 44. A couple, maybe three yards on that run. Lloyd on the run. He's taken down at the 34. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very about the 33 yard line that's your goal on every possession force brown makes it to 32 it's on the ground iowa is up a score and he's hit immediately to set up a screen for the wide receiver. And he's tackled around the 49-yard line. Broke away from one. He's at the 40. And they push him out right around the 38-yard line. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 34-yard line. Iowa is up by a touchdown. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. He's on the run. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Wildcats. Well, it's very important that this offense forget about the last time they were out on the field where they made that mistake and gave up the lead. they got to get back to basics here. Try to reach. Quick throw, picked off. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 26-yard line. Black five. Fires in there, got it, touchdown. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. So a four-play, 26-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. The score now, 28-21. Jones has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Brown from the four. And he's tackled at the 25-yard line. An interception cut this offense last drive short, so I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. Each possession gets more and more vital as the game goes on, especially when you're behind. You can't afford to make many more mistakes. The Hawkeyes are going to call their second timeout. They're about four yards away here on second down. Pitches it. He's got the corner. He's tackled. That's the 39. Called a gain of eight yards. That makes it first and ten. Check nine, check nine. 
He airs it out. Interception. And just a... That quickly incomplete. And he's taken down at about the 39 yard line. They'll make the sack. And he might want it all here and done. The defender had it and then dropped it. Now, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision. But that Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40. The 50. Inside the 30. The 10. Touchdown. Big play. A short two-play, 80-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. So we've played two quarters, and a 28-28 tie. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This first half's not going to go on either defensive coordinator's resume reel, for sure. They're not sending this out and saying, hire me, because they couldn't stop anything. We always talk about adjustments at halftime. What kind of adjustment can you really make? Is this more X and O, or is this more effort, attitude, and, and getting a little nasty? Well, the first adjustment you make, Reese, is tearing the game plan up, because that didn't work. To start the second half in a tie ball game. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Brought down at the 36. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 41-yard line. Him hard the 33 yard line. Stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. He makes his way to about the 42. Wants to throw outside. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. He passes it. So fourth down coming up. And give credit to the defense there. They played very disciplined. Third down and six yards to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. And he's level at the 36-yard line. Gets out to around the 45. He's taken down at the 48. It's the ninth play of the drive. And they get nice yardage on that run. It's first and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Fires it out, and down he goes at the 32. He ran a good route there. And... There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 25-yard line. And he's hit immediately. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive.
Iowa is playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster. Here. Third and 14. Ball on the 20. Taken down at the 32-yard line. Personal foul. Face mask. That's just too bad. They made down. the stop, but a flag is going to keep the chains moving. Takes a handoff. Tackled for a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and 14. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. Looks like they're going to go for it on fourth down. The Hawkeyes taking their first time out of the half. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Iowa will have one timeout remaining. He chucks it downfield. Tipped away. Aggressive play going for the deep ball, but the corner stayed with it all the way and made a good move to break it up. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. He's taken down around the 39-yard line. Navajo! Navajo! Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Makes it to the 34. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. around the 38-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Now they've got a corner lined up at wideout. He's hit and taken down. That was a good pass and catch there, but still not enough for the first down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Down he goes at the 15-yard line. Northwestern will take a timeout. That's their first. Lucky! Easy, easy, easy. Lucky! Lucky! Room around the corner. They'll bring him down at the one-yard line. Northwestern's going to have to use their second timeout of the half. Lloyd Swagger comes through again with a huge touchdown. He's one of those guys that wants the football in his hands late in the game with a game on the line. He delivers once again. Kill, kill. Panther two. Motion, motion, motion. Look out. What a hit. And he hits him hard at the 31. And that interception essentially ends this game. To about the 24 yard line. That's a game of 11 in the play. Tackle made around the 8 yard line. Game of 13 yards. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. 
shot. He'll go down to one knee. The Hawkeyes know that they have to enjoy this guy while they've got him because somewhere down the line he's going to be at the next level. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now he needs to sit back and just enjoy this performance and, and really the play caller, the quarterback, the offensive line, the receivers, the entire group as, as, as just a whole should feel good about their performance. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.